Shelby Rocker Adam, founder of CreativeBetterBud.com, and I am here with my good friend and fellow music lover, Amila Do. What's poppin'? Today we're gonna actually talk about more practical things like hydration. Talk about food. It's because our voice is the only instrument that's housed within the human body. If your vocal cords, if you're overall dehydrated, your vocal cords are gonna be dehydrated, and it's actually gonna be really difficult for you to sing well. Mm -hmm. So hydrating is like lubricant for your body. Um, so when you drink a lot of water, you're hydrating your entire body, you're lubricating everything so that when you're singing, it just is so much less um, inflamed. Because what happens is if this also goes along with eating, if we're eating a lot of um, high inflammatory foods, your body's going to be inflamed, um, your, your vocal cords are going to be inflamed. Um, I try my best to really focus on hydrating myself, especially right when you get up in the morning. You had talked to me about this couple uh, months ago at this point you said well right when you wake up in the morning you're dehydrated so now if we can see what hydration does to our voice think about what hydration does for our entire bodies mm -hmm. your voice box as we mentioned before is a muscle it's what these two muscles that come together go apart yeah so they come they come together and they basically go like this <clears throat> so now if you think about it right you have um people where eventually like they can't talk and so they'll take a drink of water and they'll keep going mm -hmm. and yet notice how we don't do that for ourselves throughout the day if you have that afternoon slump and you're going and you're you know you're giving yourself coffee yes it is a liquid but it's not hydrating your body. Mm -hmm. And so you need that hydration to keep going. You mm -hmm. need it while you're working out. You need it when you wake up. You need it before you eat in order to help your body process and digest. Mm -hmm. And so we're, we're gonna talk about um, three ways that you can really benefit from hydration. And the first one is something we started to touch on yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> Singing in the shower. Yeah, yeah, 100%. So when you're singing in the shower, like I mentioned yesterday, um, you are having a lot of steam rise up in the shower, especially if you take really hot showers. You have the steam rising up. It's like whenever you go into a steam room and you inhale, the doctors have, talk, have talked about this, just inhaling is really good for your lungs. You're just inhaling all this steam, put the eucalyptus oil. Diffusers mm -hmm. are basically little versions of this. You're diffusing this oil in the air. It's not just smell good oil. It actually like clears your lungs when you inhale peppermint or eucalyptus or these kind of things that you kind of go... Whoa, yeah. right? Whatever, even the Vicks Vapor Rub, for example, that is works wonders. People wonder why it works so well. Well, part of the reason is because those scents really clear out the mucus that's in your body. And that's one of the reasons singing in the shower is so great. Because in the mornings, when you wake up and you're dehydrated and you hop in the shower, you're inhaling all that steam, you're getting water on your skin, your skin is soaking up that water. So it's actually a really great habit. You can bring steam with you. So I would encourage everyone during the drier months, uh, please make sure that you are filling your humidifier. Mm -hmm. And here's another thing that can really affect your health is you want to make sure that your humidifier is clean. Like mm -hmm. you don't want to be dispersing mold into mm -hmm. the air. So um, if you have a friend that does, uh, you know, doTERRA or Young Living, talk to them about um, cleaning out your humidifier with essential oils. I'm sure they'll love me for mentioning that and you can help support a friend. Um, the second way of course with hydration is liquids. And I know guys, a lot of us, <clears throat> we think about water, right? But um, uh, Ami had mentioned earlier about uh, mucus and inflammation and things like that. If you're having a lot of sugary drinks, like sodas, like those mocha, loca, natte, whatever with whipped Starbucks. cream. Yeah, the <laughs> 500 calorie drinks. That's gonna- an energy drink. Yeah, yeah energy these drinks energy too. drinks that have like a lot of chemicals in them that's not so much going to hydrate your body as it's going to rub up your heart and it's going to also increase inflammation in your body so it's going to give you that temporary high and then it's going to like like an eagle uh, just that lets go of its prey it's going to drop you right back down drop you like a hot potato exactly so you do not want to make that your main source of hydration 
If you're someone who can't stand the taste of water, first of all, water shouldn't have a taste. <laughs> but if you don't like the fact that it doesn't have a taste, feel free to add healthy options like ginger root. So another thing to consider is um, you can have hydration in your foods. You can have soups. Fruits and vegetables have a lot of water to them. So, uh, watermelon's a great example of that, yes. right? Like when you eat watermelon, you get so satisfied so quickly because it's so full of water. Exactly. And one of the other things, water really relates well to food because one of the things that I learned is that if you're dehydrated, you're more hungry. And so if you're constantly going, oh my gosh, why am I eating so much? It's probably because you're not actually drinking enough water. How does music help with that? Mm, we had talked about this earlier together separately before we filmed this. Um, how you had shared that in um, restaurants when mm -hmm. they want you to enjoy your meal and like a really nice restaurant they play really slow jazz or classical music because they want you to sit and enjoy and it's an experience yeah. they want yeah. you to experience the food you're eating they look at it's like 90 percent of us myself included will sit down and we'll watch tv while we're while we're eating and so look at what you're think about like what you're watching or what you're listening to if you're watching csi <laughs> while you're oh my eating, gosh how did she kill him <laughs> we have a rule it's really funny my husband and i will only watch wheel of fortune while we're eating dinner because mm. it because we notice like we're so busy like actually participating that we slow down and we mm. we take a longer time but if you're listening to fast-paced music it's really going to cause you to speed up so think about that and for your for when you're eating so i want to do three really quick tips for how to just stay hydrated one of the great tips to, to stay hydrated um is to have straw i know how silly that sounds no it doesn't me, I love straws. Like mm -hmm. I will drink so much water when I have a straw. And then we had mentioned a humidifier is super good for staying hydrated, especially in the winter. Um, and also um, if you're a singer or if you're someone who wants to learn how to really take care of your voice and you feel really inflamed or if you're trying to feel sick, if you actually get, um, you, can go to, you can go to CVS and just get a Vicks steamer mm -hmm. and you can, and it's about this big and you just put your face in it and you just inhale steam. You really only want to do it for <clears> five <throat> to 10 minutes at a time. If not, eat, maybe not even that much, really, really gentle because you don't want to do too much steam. Otherwise it can actually cause the reverse effects. You, you just want to just gently keep yourself hydrated. A tip that I actually love to do is this water bottle is clear and it helps me realize Oh, I've just had 16 ounces of water. I need to fill it up again. Whereas this water bottle, this is not clear. And I will just go, oh, it's empty and I'll put it down. Mm -hmm. And I won't think to go fill it up. I'll mm -hmm. be like, oh, it gets out of sight, out of mind. So if you're a visual person, that's super helpful too. Totally a good idea to get all your liquids ready, literally the night before, and put them around the house where you'll be. At your bedside for when you wake up at the coffee table next to where you sit to watch TV at night, um, at your desk where you do work. So make sure about, to keep water handy. Think about drinking like one big glass of water before you consume coffee or anything else in the morning. Yeah. That's gonna be really, really helpful. Um, and I would also say if you have a planner or have something, usually a lot of planners nowadays have a like little water bottle icons at the bottom that you can click off like, oh, I did two, three, four water bottles today. Yeah. Now here's something interesting. There are certain liquids that can really mess up your voice. Um, for example, like um, milk can create a lot of phlegm. Mm -hmm. A cow milk, which is the number one milk we tend to drink in this country, was <laughs> it's made for a beast that weighs several hundred pounds <laughs> when it's born. So you want to make sure that you you take that out and it doesn't matter if it's fat free or if it's full fat or anything like that Talking with a lot of phlegm then um seeing where you incorporate dairy um sometimes gluten can have this effect on people's yeah. voices as well like peace and blessings but um when you create a better body you create a better life when you create a better life you get a better body so make sure you take care of it and love it and a me uh, I guess I'll always just say that to build confidence, you just have to kind of jump in and do it. Just risk it for the biscuit. Just jump in, do it. <laughs> She's going to have a different tagline like every single day. It's going to be a different one. Risk it for the biscuit. <laughs>